everybody i hope all is well so i am back with another message as per usual so listen this message will be based off of a dream and i also have a scripture reference for it as well honey so a few months ago um i had a dream i had a few dreams and i made a video about it as well where i was telling you how to stay ready so you don't have to get ready and that video was based off of a dream um and in the dream the person the man came into a, an apartment and was looking around the whole entire apartment and the woman was caught off guard because she just wasn't ready it was like she was ready but she wasn't ready the house wasn't dirty but it was just a little messy refrigerator wasn't clean dishes in the sink and things was just all over the place and she was like oh my lord if only i was prepared and would have known that he was coming i would have had everything so that's why i made that message stay ready so you don't have to get ready and then fellas i had another dream with where the fellas place was a mess and the, the woman was being invited in and the man's place was a mess as well so it's like ladies this is not only for you fellas this is for y'all too clean it up stay ready so you ain't got to get ready stay prepared and prepare for your person's arrival and you're probably thinking like well why would i invite them in my apartment we ain't doing no shacking up we ain't doing anything inappropriate it's not really about that you can tell a lot about a person's home you can tell a lot about a person by their home excuse me as well as their apartment you can tell a lot about a person by the way their apartment is set up how they have things placed you know things along those lines you can just tell a lot so don't think that you have to think about it you're going to be courting eventually right once the unions finally do come together the courting will begin courtships will begin to take place and they're going to want to get to know you all across the board including your resting place they want to see where you rest your head at that's how like again that is one way they're going to know and understand who you are by looking into your place so get it together if you know you got some old laundry you need to clean up some things you need to throw out um you haven't mopped the floors in months dishes piled up that um clothes still by the bed bedroom a mess closet needs to be organized you know just get yourselves together okay and stay ready so you don't got to get ready and prepare for your person's arrival now as far as the scripture that i have which i laughed at it when i read it john 14 and 3 and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there you may be also so wherever you are your person is going to want to be there too and vice versa okay so let me read that scripture again and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again like i'm telling you now to prepare for your person's arrival if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again this per that's an invitation a welcoming and you, once you when you start to prepare a space and a place for your your future husband your future wife it's an invitation it's not only an invitation in the natural but it's an invitation in the spiritual as well remember that so i will come again and, and receive you unto myself that where i am there ye may be also okay get into it honey and another thing some of y'all got to be quiet in this season shh, shh. in this season of promises this season of kingdom marriages coming together watch who you are bumping your gums to zip it learn when to be quiet okay take a nap <laughs> keep it on a hush keep some things on a low keep some things to yourself if you don't have people that you can trust that you can talk to certain things about especially when it's regarding your god-ordained spouse keep that stuff to yourself if you want a safe space where you feel like you want to express and get some things off of your chest, please join my Kingdom Marriage group. You can click the link in my bio. My sisters got me together last night because, you know, while I am a messenger, I need some correction myself sometimes. I got to get y'all together, too. And it's nice to have a group of people that can get me together. You know what I'm saying? In love. So I appreciate you, ladies. God bless y'all. I love y'all. OK, Um. so, yeah, join the group. Click the link in the bio. But when you and your person are finally finally talking again communicating again getting to know one another you know um y'all are starting to walk into the purpose and the reason why y'all are supposed to be together once all of that is clicking and once it's finally flowing protect your investment yes they are your investment you was praying for that person that's investing prayers you was investing fast and interested 
That's an investment, honey. You have, have invested time and energy and worn in the spirit for this, this man or this woman. Protect your investment and also protect your assignment because now they are your, they are your assignment. When y'all finally come together, they are your assignment. So you want to protect that. And the way you're going to do that is to keep your relationship private and not secret. Again, private, not secret. There is a difference, okay? I know some of y'all got that overposting spirit. <laughs> y'all just love to post y'all relationships all day long. But baby, not this go around. You got to do something different. Do something that you never did before. And if posting is that, do that. I know for me personally, it's going to be, girl, you don't never post your husband. I didn't even know he was married. Mm -hmm. And don't, uh, honey, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. Follow the podcast. That's what you can do for us. Support the channel. Amen, somebody. You have to also remember when you expose your relationship, those witches and those counterfeits and those people that was praying against you, when it is finally exposed and it's cut, it comes to the light, they're going to be like, oh, it's her? Oh, it's him? Oh, he married her? She married him? You know, attacks are going to be coming. People, they still going to be trying. But if you protect it and continue to pray over your marriages and keep it covered, that's going to be all right, okay? But just keep it a little on a hush, a little private, not secret, just private. Learn to zip it. Just Okay. okay. But again, prepare for your um, spouse's arrival and get in the habit of saying my husband, my wife, my husband, my wife. Because I already told you, you're already a wife. You're already a bride. You're already a husband. You're already a groom. You just don't have your person just yet. But they're coming. So prepare, prepare <laughs> for their arrival. God bless y'all.